This is servicing the solenoid on a CS3. First thing you'll have to do in order to be able to service the solenoid on the CS3 is to remove the grips, which you can do following the instructions in the video link here. And then once you have removed the grips, you'll also need to remove the grip frame from the body. And that can be done following the instructions in the video here. Once you have the frame removed, first thing we need to do is to um, unplug the solenoid from the circuit board. In this particular model of CS3, there is uh, a jumper lead from the solenoid to the circuit board. So we can just unplug that in the middle there. If you have a full length lead, which the later guns will do, there's a full length lead all the way from the solenoid is here down to the PCB here um, in which case you would just unplug from the main board here to free up the wires. Once you've unplugged the solenoid you need to turn over the frame we need to push on the pin here which will push out the solenoid retaining pin that will come out pull out the other side and then we can just Gently push the solenoid assembly up and then remove that from the top of the frame. Just need to make sure the wires at the top here are pulled out of the way so that the solenoid has room to come out. Slide that, be careful not to pull any of the wires. And once you have that out, you can place the frame assembly to one side. I'm going to concentrate on the solenoid assembly here. Probably easier just to remove the gasket at the top. Sometimes the gasket at the bottom comes out with the solenoid housing. Sometimes it'll remain inside the frame. In this case, it's remained inside the frame. Inside here, you can see the gasket that does a transfer from the frame into the solenoid body. I'm going to need a very small screwdriver. This is a Phillips head zero size. Zero will do all four of the screws in the solenoid assembly. First thing I'm going to do is remove the pilot. The parts in the pilot are non-serviceable and that is just this small cream and silver assembly here. You can just place that to one side, there's nothing to service inside that. Then have plate, manifold plate here, two small screws in, and just remove those. These should only be in very loose, just hold the plate in place. You can lift that off, be careful not to lose the two small screws. We turn it over, you'll see there's a gasket on this side, you can just inspect the gasket, no need to take it out. Uh, just make sure it's clean, wiped down, and there's nothing on that surface. And that will give us access to the main solenoid spool. The large side and the small side, you can push it out from the small side. That will just slide out. Got that out and give it a clean. If you like, you can use a Q-tip or earbud clean inside, take the old grease out again, take the spool, and wipe the old dirty grease off that. And while we've got it taken apart we'll just check the 6x1 is a nice tight fit inside the solenoid body. That should, you should be able to feel that gripping nice and tightly inside, it shouldn't come out, the spool shouldn't come out, if you give it a shake it should be a nice snug fit. Once so that's removed and cleaned, we can just put a small amount of grease on three seals. Grease onto those three there. Slide that back. Slide the solenoid body. Once 
contacts back together, put the manifold plate back on. As I said before, these screws didn't, don't need to be tight, they just hold the plate in place. Now we can reattach the pilot. And we just want to alternate between these two until the pilot is snug. Again, we don't want to over tighten this. We'll make sure it's just snugged up tight, it shouldn't move around. Now we can go ahead and rebuild this back. If the gasket had come out with the solenoid assembly, a solenoid body, then we need to put it back in here now. Just going to make sure that it's still inside there. Before we put the assembly back, it's going to straighten out the wires slightly so that it can guide those wires back through here and those can come out into the inside the frame. Put the pilot back in. Careful not to pinch the wires here down the side of the pilot. Let's work the pilot past those wires. Make sure it clips down onto gasket. If everything's down and fully in place, nice and snug and there's no pinch wires, we can put the pin back in and then we can take the wires and the solenoid and plug that back in. Like I say, if this has a single long set of cables, um, from the pilot that can go directly to the board. In this case we're using a, a jumper to extend this shorter cable and push those in. And then we'll just fold these ones inside the frame. Make sure everything's tucked away. We can just double check everything's functioning. If we power up And then switch the eyes off and pull the trigger. You can hear that the solenoid is clicking inside. Everything's good on that. And then finally, we need to make sure before everything's rebuilt that the gasket is back in place inside the top of the solenoid body. Obviously, going to make sure all the wires are nice and flat and tucked out of the way before we put the frame back onto the body. But installing the frame back onto the body can be found in this video here. And that is servicing the solenoid assembly for a CS3.